Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Suzanne Fawaimi and today we'll be learning how to make this lovely sleeve. So this is what it looks like. I'd also like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you continue to get quality content from us. So this is what the sleeve looks like. So let's get right into it. Now the first thing that you do is to get the length of your sleeve. Well, I'll be folding it this way so that I'll get my bicep also. Now for the bicep, just add like three inches to your actual uh, measurement. So the actual measurement I'm using is 16. So I'm going to add three inches, 16, that's half of it is eight. So eight, nine, ten, so I'll be folding 11. So fold until you get 11. Okay, this is it. Then I'll get the length that I want. So I'm using my long length sleeve. And that's, I'm doing 24. 24, then I'll be adding one inch. So mark. So the next thing I'll do, I'll measure my my wrist measurement plus three inches also. So the wrist measurement is uh, eight or nine. Nine then plus three. That'll be one, two. That's eight. Okay, that will be seven and a half. I'll mark that point. So the next thing I'll do. Now for this one, I won't do the the armhole first. I'll first of all do the design so that after joining, I will now cut in my armhole. But I can just give it a small. This is not the actual. armhole depth so I'll connect this point to this point so the next thing I'll do is to cut through so let me just cut I'm still going to record the armhole so so the next thing I'll do is to fold into so i'll be attaching the flare into three points okay four including the joining point so i'm going to fold this way since they will be joining all sides so just fold it equal this way and cut cut and make another cut Now I won't cut it all through so that they will stay, stay together. So while I sew, I will now cut through so that it won't get mixed up. So this is for this. So the next thing I'll do is to, to get the Ankara fabric. So I'll be cutting some strips that is going to come from the tip so it's just a bit so what you can do make unfold one inch and just cut so this should so i'll be folding it this way and attach in between while I sew. So the next thing I'll do is to cut my flare. Now I'm, I'm going to be using the Ankara to turn each other. So as I cut my flare, I cut double for each, 
for each panel so this is it now to give it the look i want i'm going to be doing the spiral flare which is the flounce so this is what i'll do fold just like this now i don't want it to be so big so i'm going to be using 12 by okay, let me measure what is here so this is 11 and a half so i'll measure 11 and a half here also so i'll mark so that i have like a box so i'll be cutting my flare in between here so what i'll do 11 and a half so that will be 6.25 no 5.75 so mark so what i'm doing i'm getting like a center point so i'll do here also 6.75 just here so i just get like a cross four cardinal points then i'm gonna start i'm gonna just pick one point and start So after you get your four cardinal points like this, make a circle in the middle, just like this. So the next thing I'll do, I'll round up all the edges, just like this. I'll round up all the edges, so we have something like this. So the next thing I'll pick any point from here. So that I can go, so I'll go this way. So this is it. So I'll be ending up, okay, let me reduce here a bit. Because I don't want it to be too long, so that's why I'm just going just one, uh, one circle. So I'll, I'll be ending up around here. So. So I'll be cutting. So I'll now cut. So this is what I want. So I actually want this part to be fuller. So it's going to start narrow and it will flare and end narrow, just like this. So I will be inserting it into each of the lines. So I'll be using one to turn the other and it will be like this. So I'll be putting the, uh, the straight piece I said earlier here, just to complete it. Then this one will be in between each of the cuts. So I'll cut more so that I'll have four, four pair for each sleeve. Okay. So let me just place and recut another one. So I've cut eight pair now. 
four for each sleeve so I'll be using one of the Ankara to turn the other so after we turn we attach into each piece to bring it back together then I'll recut the armhole don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you can also register for our online course we have lots of different package we have our advanced class we have a beginners class we have our intermediate class we have our custom master class and we also have boo boo class so if you want to learn more join our online course thanks for watching now the first thing that you do is to turn one with another so it should be like this so, so that you have a neat edge this way then the next thing is to you're going to insert it into the lines that we cut through so we'll have something like this so I'll be placing the anchor just a tiny bit from the start So I will then sew. So cut. All of them to bring them together. Now this is what it looks like. I've already attached in each cut the flare. So I'll be reshaping the armhole like I said before. So this is now the shape. So the next thing we'll do is to weave each of the line to make it neat, then fold the down. And this is what you have. Now don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can continue to receive quality content from us. Thanks for watching.